Hi kids! Welcome to Teacher Jean's E-Classroom. And today we will be discussing Science 6, Quarter 1, Week 6 on separating mixtures through hand picking, decantation, and evaporation. What are our objectives for this week? At the end of the lesson, you are expected to describe ways of separating mixtures, identify ways of separating mixtures, and lastly, name mixtures that can be separated by hand picking, decantation, and evaporation. Now let's have our review. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one, what will happen if you leave a suspension mixture unattended for a long time? A, the components separate. B, some particles settle at the bottom. C, some particles float on top. Or D, all of the above. Number two, what is the use of, of soy sauce and oil suspension? A, medicine. B, beverage. C, food preparation. Or D, all of the above. Number three, which of the following describes a suspension? A, heterogeneous. B, no Tyndall effect. C, its particles are not visible to the naked eye. Or D, all of the above. Number four, when poured into water, which one creates a suspension? A, soft drinks. B, oil. C, lemon juice. Or D, coffee. Number five, which one is not a suspension? A, water and black pepper. B, vinegar and onion bits. C, water and soy sauce. Or D, sagugulaman drink. Now let's do the checking. Are you ready? If you are, then let's begin. The correct answers are, for number one, what will happen if you leave a suspension mixture and attend it for a long time? Correct answer is all of the above. Let's letter D. Number two, what is the use of soy sauce and oil suspension? Correct answer is C, food preparation. Number three, which of the following describes a suspension? Correct answer is A, heterogeneous. Number four, when poured into water, which one creates a suspension? Correct answer is B, oil. And number five, which one is not a suspension? Correct answer is letter C, water and soy sauce. Now I want you to count the number of check marks you got for our review. What did you get? Five? Awesome! Now let's move on to our lesson for this week. I would like to ask you, have you tried preparing some boiled rice? What do you do to clean the rice? How do you separate the rice grains from the tiny stones that sometimes get mixed to them? And question number three, how do you separate the water and the rice after each wash? In those simple steps of preparing rice, you are actually using two ways of separating mixtures. The first one is through hand picking. When you use your hand to pick out and remove the tiny stones from the rice, that is, yes, correct. That is separating mixtures through hand picking. Then the second one is decantation, wherein you try to remove the water from the rice as you rinse the rice. Now, question. What would you do if you realize that the rice you are boiling has too much water in it? You have two choices. You can either scoop out the water and throw it out, which is still called decantation. You can do that by using a ladle. Or 
you can open the cover of the rice cooker and let the water dry out as it evaporates into the surrounding, which is called evaporation. So here in this situation, you are having two ways of separating mixtures. One is decantation and the other one is evaporation. So let's try to remember this. What is a mixture? Correct. Mixture is a combination of two or more substances that are physically combined. So if mixtures are just physically combined, then they can also be physically separated. So today we will be discussing about the difference or the different ways of separating mixtures. One is hand picking. What is hand picking? It is the most ancient and convenient way of separating mixtures by using the hands. This is very useful in everyday tasks. Usually you do the separation of mixtures through hand picking, especially if the materials that you're trying to separate are dry. And of course, if they are big. Look at this one in the picture. So if there are stones that are mixed with the rice grains, usually this happens when the rice is dried out under the sun. Sometimes it is dried out in a place where there are some pebbles, there are some little stones. And you know, when people keep the rice, the rice grains manually at the end of the day when they're already dried, sometimes these very, very tiny stones would get mixed to the rice. So when we buy the rice, when we try to prepare it for boiling, we try to check the rice. And if we discover that there are some tiny stones, we remove the stones, we separate the stones from the rice grains by hand picking. Second way of separating mixture is through decantation. It is a process for the separation of mixtures of immiscible liquids or liquids that do not mix together or could be or of a liquid and a solid mixture, such as in our example, the rice grains and the water. It is pouring out or scooping out the lighter material and leaving the heavier material behind. So when you try to pour out the water from the rice, when you do the rinsing, or when you try to scoop out the excess water while you're already boiling the rice and you realize that there is too much water in it, you are doing decantation. Look at that. First picture, you're doing decantation by pouring, pouring out the liquid and trying to leave the solid material. And for the second one, you try, uh, you try to scoop out the liquid, which is lighter than the rice. So you scoop out the water, scoop out the liquid, and throw it out so that you will have properly boiled rice. Next way or method of separating mixture in our discussion today is evaporation, which is a process to separate a homogeneous mixture that drives out the liquid component from the solid component by heating the mixture. So look at that one. Just when you have already started boiling the water, you realize that there is too much water. So what do you do? You just let the water evaporate into the air so that the rice would dry out. Now let's try to practice. I want you to tell how the components in the picture can be separated. So your answers would be hand picking, decantation, or evaporation. Let's start with number one. What is that? You write your answer on your notebook because in a little while after I count five, I am going to give you the correct answer. So you are going to check your answer if it's correct. One, 
two, three, four, five. Correct answer is you're going to separate salt from water through evaporation. So what do you do? You boil the mixture and you let the water evaporate so that the salt will be left behind. Picture number two, you have their fruit salad. If you try to separate the fruits that you have there because you don't like the others, what kind or what method or what way of separating mixtures will you use? One, two, three, four, five. Correct answer is hand picking. When you say hand picking, you use your hand, pick it out. Or maybe you can try to use a chopstick to pick out the materials. Or you can use a fork. But literally, hand picking is when you use your hand. Now let's try the third picture. So you have oil and water. How do you separate them? What method? One, two, three four, five. Decantation. You try to pour out the lighter material, which is, of course, the oil, so that the water will be left behind. Or you could scoop out. Scoop out the oil using a spoon, and then the water will be left behind. Next. Mix nuts. What are you going to do? One, two, three, four, five. And picking, very easy. Number five, a mixture of paper clips having different colors. How are you? Are how are you going to separate them by color through hand picking? Next, water and sand. How are you going to separate that kind of mixture? One. Two, three, four, five. Correct answer is decantation. Wow. So how did you do in our activity? What score did you have? Did you get perfect six? Wow, that's great. But if you did not get perfect, don't worry. You can still have a chance to have a better score later in our assessment. Now we have here some questions. I have a question here. How do you separate mixtures through the following? Through hand picking, how do you do that? You separate the components by picking them using hands. What about separating mixtures using decantation? There are two ways. You separate the components by pouring out the lighter component or by scooping it out. And number three, how do you separate mixtures through evaporation? You separate the components by boiling the mixture and letting the liquid component evaporate or dry out, leaving the dry component in the container. So those are the three ways or methods of separating mixtures that we have in focus for this week. Now let's do our assignment. Are you ready? All you have to do is just to choose the letter of the correct answer. Ready? If you are, then I will start reading. Please write your answers on your activity notebook. Be ready with your pen. Number one, if you don't want to eat the raisins in your fruit salad, what method of separating will you use to remove the raisins? A, hand picking. B, decantation. C, evaporation. And D, sieving. Number two, after rinsing some mango beans or mung beans, what method of separating mixture will you use to remove the water? A, hand picking, B, decantation, C, evaporation, or D, sieving. Question number three. 
If you want to separate the excess fat that floats on top of your humba or pork adobo, what method of separating will you use to get rid of the fat? A, hand picking, B, decantation, C, evaporation, or D, sieving. Number four, when you're making syrup from a mixture of sugar and water, what method or way will you use to separate the water from the sugar? A, hand picking, B, decantation, C, evaporation, or D, sieving. Number five, while frying some eggplant, you accidentally spilled some water into the hot oil in the pan. How will you remove the water from the oil? A, hand picking, B, decantation, C, evaporation, or D, sieving. Number six, what method of separating mixtures will you use if you want to group mixed paper clips with different colors? A, hand picking, B, decantation, C, evaporation, or D, sieving. Seven, how do you perform separation of mixtures through evaporation? By A, boiling the mixture and letting the liquid material evaporate. B, picking up the solid material so that the liquid material remains. C, pouring out the liquid so the solid remains in the container. Or D, scooping out the lighter material as the heavier material one or the heavier one sinks at the bottom. Eight, how do you perform decantation? By A, using hands to separate components of the mixture. B, scooping out the lighter material. C, pouring out the liquid to retain the solid component. Or D, both B and C. Are you ready? For the checking? If you are, then let's go. If you don't want to eat the raisins in your fruit salad, what method of separating will you use to remove the raisins? Correct answer is A, hand picking. To after rinsing some mango beans or mung beans, what method of separating mixture will you use to remove the water? Correct answer is B, decantation. Three. If you want to separate the excess fat that flows on top of your humba, what method of separating will you use to get rid of the fat? The correct answer is B, decantation. Number four, when you are making syrup from a mixture of sugar and water, what method or way will you use to separate the water from the sugar? The correct answer is evaporation. Five, while frying some eggplant, you accidentally spilled some water into the hot oil in the pan. How will you remove the water from the oil? Correct answer is C, evaporation. Sorry, I forgot to remove the choice A. But it's evaporation. Maybe some of you would say, oh, why not uh, decantation? No, it's too hot for you to pour it out. So correct answer is Evaporation, that's the surest thing that you can do, the safest thing that you can do. Number six, what method of separating mixtures will you use if you want to group mixed paper clips into different colors? The correct answer is A, hand picking. Seven, how do you perform separation of mixtures through evaporation? The correct answer is A, boiling the mixture and letting the liquid material evaporate. And number eight, how do you perform decantation by blank? Correct answer is D, both B and C. This time, I want you to count the number of check marks you got for our assessment. If you got seven or eight, that means you have mastered our lesson for today. If not, then you please, please, please review the lesson and retake the test so you so that you will have better mastery of our lesson. Okay? Now let's proceed to our assignment or for your additional activity. First, show a picture showing separation of mixtures through hand picking and then label it. 
Next, show two pictures, pictures showing separation of mixtures through decantation. One by pouring out and the other by scooping out. And then label it. Number three, show two pictures showing separation of mixtures through evaporation and then label it. You can, I want you to be very, very creative in doing this. So you have to collage the pictures and then submit them to our Google Classroom. Much better if you can take the pictures that you will submit in our class, not just get it, grab it from the internet. Much better if you can take pictures of these three ways of separating mixtures. Okay, so good luck, be artistic, be creative. I hope that you will pass nice outputs. So that's it for our lesson for this week, kids. Bye-bye, take care. Don't forget to like and share our video. And of course, to subscribe to our channel, the Teacher Jeans channel.